Welcome to Trend Watch, your up to the minute source for the latest in fashion and style. On today's episode, Jennifer Creel's perfect presence in part two of our holiday gift guide series. And Trend Watch gets an invitation to one of New York's most coveted exhibits. The time has come to find the perfect present for those on your holiday list. I'm very much last minute. And I love that last minute. I love that whole anxiety, that rush to go get it and have to get it. And I've always been like that. For Jennifer's friends who will be traveling this season, she has lots of ideas. You can put your jewelry in here as well as your makeup, things that you need right away and you want to have right at your side. This shoe bag is wonderful and great to be able to put all your expensive shoes and not have them lost and not have the heels snapped or broken. Frite's ruby slippers are a lovely indulgence, and candles are always a favorite for men or women. And that smells divine. I love that for my house. It's so pretty the way they do these, too, with the brown and the blue. It's, it's lovely. A Bobbi Brown makeup brush set will keep all your tools in place when you're on the road. For the ultimate luxury, why not give the gift of travel? A trip to Miami Beach's newest property, the Gansevoort South, is the perfect winter getaway. What else could there be better than being in Miami, somewhere warm and having a vacation and having it as a gift? I and mean, what possibly could you not say? But yes, I mean, it's amazing. Something to wear while away? How about Cortese loungewear or a cozy cashmere robe? A bit closer to home, a stationery box by Mrs. John L. Strong makes a thoughtful hostess gift. Ole Regenerist makes a wonderful stocking stuffer. There's no wrong giving of a, a moisturizer. I think it's something in every woman, every man is always looking for one. So it's always nice to have one, and especially some, a brand that's been around forever. The luxurious cream helps regenerate shape, restore elasticity, and hydrate the skin. Every woman should have a wardrobe of fragrances, especially during the holidays. Designer Karl Lagerfeld created a trio of scents for his new capsule collection, Floriental. It's kind of it was a Florentine kind of, I mean, I feel like I'm somewhere, Italy somewhere with that. The citrusy light. Your day about town running around and not necessarily being anywhere in particular, but just at the moment, something that's not so aggressive and something that you want to be light and airy about and the outdoorsy Woody. Being, you know, I would say at a hunting lodge and being there and exploring and walking and doing your trail walk. Calvin Klein has two options. The timelessly romantic Eternity. It makes me think of forever and that's something I would probably want to give to somebody with a very big personality. In the oriental exotic, Euphoria. This is something I would have for my definitely more adventure friend. If there's much more of a musky kind of rugged but feminine side. Vera Wang Look is a feminine and seductive scent with complex fragrance notes. This is definitely an example of who Vera Wang is. I think it definitely shows her style and what she's about. And there you have the perfect gifts for anyone on your holiday list. New Yorkers turned out recently to celebrate the work of contemporary artist David Foote. At 18, the Venezuelan-born artist came to the States to pursue filmmaking at Parsons. With a degree in animation and illustration, this Renaissance man has worked in film, fashion, and art. I've always drawn and painted and designed. And about a year ago, I was doing a lot of film, and I kind of wanted to go back to a place more handmade and less digital, so I returned to painting. His most recent work, New Girls, consists of female faces that were created using white acrylic paint and black ink. I had always been doing these sketches of these organic faces, basically, and when I started doing the canvas, they kind of kept on growing and changing, and kind of one canvas inspired the next, and that's how the series New Girls got started. Drinks were flowing and the music was playing as guests admired his work in the chic penthouse and terrace lounge setting of 20 Pine, the collection. I love David's work. I think that it's very interesting and in that he uses all of these different girls and chooses to illustrate them in only black and white. He wanted his viewers to be able to use their imaginations and imagine what color these girls' eyes were or hair was and all that. So I find that really interesting. It kind of reminds me of something, the 60-ish kind of era. I mean, the long kind of hair and the big eyes and the dramatic eyes. For David, the night was a grand success. Be sure to tune in to more episodes and don't forget to shop the shows.